Cancer, and welcome to your readings at the round table. I'm Jennifer. Got Patches and a Mouse over here, and Jasmine down here in her bed as my co host. Very exciting. Um, well, Cancer, this is a reading for uh, September the 12th through the 18th. And it's going to be great. It really is. But this is a general reading. Um, this is a general reading cancer. So if it resonates with you, that's awesome. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Just make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising so that you can get all the pieces to the puzzle for your picture of the week. And let me see if I can uh, relocate my little friend here. I mean, he's a sweetheart, but he likes to be in this camera. Come on. No, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Sorry, Cancer. All right. Well, let's see what we got for you. Okay, Cancer? Oh, you're just determined, aren't you? Okay, look, baby. You're killing me. You're wasting just a little bit of time here. I know. I love you a lot. That's why I cleaned off this half of the desk for you. All right. Let's switch this up. If I can get the... There we go. Okay, Cancer. If you are new to the channel, which is very possible because this is a new channel. Um, this is... This line here is where you are coming from. This is where you are now. And this is where you're headed. Come on, Patches. Lay down, baby. Look, I'm bringing the cards over to you, okay? You can lay down. Yeah. All right, let's get some clarifiers here. Patches. Boy, he's not going to let up tonight. He's certainly going to walk all over my notebook. Which is how I keep notes for, um, you know, the description. Okay. All right, Cancer. Oh, my. Okay, what? Ooh. Sorry, Cancer. I'm like throwing cards today. Um, what is holding Cancer back? What is holding Cancer back? Okay, that's interesting. A different kind of new beginning. Hmm. Okay, let's look into this a little deeper before we start looking into what's holding you back, Cancer. So where you're coming from, actually, is pretty, is not bad. Like, I feel like you've been through some ups and downs. You've had some, uh, you've had some rough roads. You've had some rough water. You're a water sign. Let's just go with that. You've hit, you've hit some rough water, and now, Cancer, you're really moving into a good place because, or this, I'm sorry, this is where you were, or where you're coming in from. You're, you moved into a good place, you moved into a much better place than you anticipated. But I think you were worried that you were going to be in the rough waters for a long time. And it did feel like that for a while. Like, nothing was just coming together. 
it was just not like uh, it, it it just wouldn't form it was like you kept kneading and kneading the dough and it just wouldn't come together but i think it finally has started it finally has started to take some shape because you finally started to get into a place where the water isn't as choppy it's not beating you up as much and you're really able to move into something better and here we go cancer part of this is because wow okay part of this is your decisions yes but part of it is decisions of people around you that's weird and interesting but it doesn't surprise me because most cancers that i know are empaths there's something going on with your decisions because this is where you are currently there's something going on with your decisions and decisions that you're making but you're making decisions based on what's going on with other people again it doesn't surprise me because again most cancers i know are empaths the thing is though it's tempting to just want to focus on them and not focus on you it's very tempting to just want to go but if they do this if they do this no you cannot bank on that because people change their minds too much these days cancer they really really do they change their minds so quickly just like the blink of an eye they'll be like yeah I'm gonna vote for this person I'm gonna vote for this person and then they read a one-liner on the internet they read one thing on the internet and that's it that's it it's all different now it's all changed up and what are we gonna do now you know so don't base it's very very tempting to base your choices on someone else's choice don't do that this is gonna this is gonna lead you in the right direction and it's gonna be an emotional victory for you an emotional celebration an emotional uh, it really is like uh, i i want to say a little bit of a party because you're honoring yourself for the first time in a long time cancer for the first time in a long time i don't know what kind of relationships you've been in cancer i don't know what kind of work atmosphere or whatever this is that i'm seeing this could be family, this could be work, this could be community. I mean, this could be you being school mom for like umpteen years or school dad for umpteen years. But whatever this is, Cancer, it's really time for you to honor yourself and make decisions based on what you need and what you want and not other people's decisions because you've been doing that long enough. So this is where you're heading. Should you stay in that place of victory here comes the cat again sorry that place of celebration um patches i love you baby boy cancer he is all over you tonight <sighs> today is still this afternoon um the but the thing is like where you're headed is really some good places if you keep like choosing to follow your choices instead of basing like your life on other people's choices this is it really is incredible like there's some incredible things opening up for you and it's it's shedding a lot of light on situations that you had no idea was happening you had no idea that these were like sort of hidden in the wings the thing is, when you start following this path, when you start honoring yourself, there's more things that open up for you, Cancer. There's more, there's more choices. There's more opportunities. There's different things that open up for you in a great way, in a fantastic way. This is really exciting because this is really where you want to be. It gives you such an opportunity and it it really does it opens up more things for you now i said all that to say this because you're finally coming into a place of recognition and success 
And I, again, I don't necessarily think that this is um, absolutely with a job. I just think that it, it could be with a job. But it could also be with a relationship. It also could be with family members. This, this could apply to a bunch of different stuff. And maybe there's a bunch of cancers out there that are dealing with this on different levels. With relationships and career path and all. There's a lot happening here. So I do feel like it's finally like recognition time. It's finally like, yeah, that you've been really working hard and you've been working hard knowing that you have the upper hand, knowing that you're the only one that can fill this role, whether it's with your family, with your career or with your significant other. The wonderful thing is that this is, it, it, is successful for you once they start to acknowledge what all you've put into this who doesn't want to be acknowledged right but this isn't over okay once they start acknowledging you you're gonna fall back into some really I don't want to say bad habits but you're gonna fall back into some old habits this real that can really tear you up if you don't watch it that's where you're making decisions based on what other people are deciding for themselves or what um, what you think is best or um, you're looking at their lives and saying, I think this is best for you and you're making decisions on that, based on that thought. Or you're making decisions based on what they're doing with their lives and that may not be the best course of action for you. The best course of action for you is to have this new beginning on your own. On your own with your rules and your say-so in this. Not with somebody else's. That's going to be hard. That's going to be hard because I do feel like these people are pretty influential. Enough to cause a lot of upheaval in your life. However, if you stick to your guns, if you say... No, this is what I'm going to do with my life. Thank you for recognizing me, though. I appreciate it. You're going to be in a good p position. You're going to be in a, a really good position. Like, successfully. And secure. Secure. Feeling secure and grounded, I almost want to say. But feeling secure about yourself and feeling secure about where you're where you're headed, as opposed to when you put when you start making decisions based on what you think other people are going to choose, or or if you make decisions on your life based on what they need. And I've seen this a lot with people in like specific careers, you know, um, so, uh, specifically careers. What they do is they think, okay, my company really, really needs me. I'm going to make this decision based on what I think or based on I, I want to be there for my company. I want to be there for my company. And then the first downturn of the economy, guess who let, gets let go? Uh-huh. So that's, that's where this is going to lead you. It's just an example. That's not what I'm saying is going to happen. But I think that you need to do things like it's great that they finally recognize you. That is a success. And call it a success. And just be like, okay, I'm in. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't start basing your decisions on what they need. Okay? Start basing your decisions on what you need in your new beginning. Okay, because that's what's going to bring you, that's what you, that's going to bring you the um, security, the success, but the confidence too. Yeah. The great thing is, is that I think you are going to be able to manage this of like what you want versus what they want. I think you're going to be able to manage this cancer because it's not that you can't give them something. It's not that you can't be like, okay, well, instead of me sacrificing, like, a whole week of vacation, how about 
I give you a day. How about I give you a day? I can delay my trip for that long, or I can do this, or I can come in early and work this out, or I can, I can help you move if you need to, but you can balance what you need and what they need, okay? Or rather, what you want to give to them. Balance. Balance is a factor here. It's a big factor. So make sure that you're keeping that in balance and that you do keep something behind for yourself. This is very important because I feel like this has been, this has been a challenge for you. Is this new beginning after having so many battles. I feel like that has been a real challenge for you, Cancer. So in this, I would say that you definitely need to follow your intuition and you're highly intuitive. You need to follow your intuition. You need to follow your guidance about your life. Don't start doing this stuff about, oh, I'm going to do this so that I think it's going to be easier for them. I think they want me to do this. No, don't do that. We've all gotten into trouble for that. Oh my gosh. Me, all the time. All the time. So you do what's right for you, okay? All right, let's see what kind of advice we get from the animals. Let's start with the animals first. It seems fitting, right? Okay, Cancer. The grouse, a sacred spiral. Oh, well, I guess you got two. Moose, strong self-esteem. Okay, let's see what the moon has to say. What kind of advice the moon is giving you. grief what is going on with me I mean I know Mercury's like going into retrograde but my gosh huh show the world the real you full moon in Aquarius did I pull this for you last week I mean, this is a new channel, so, wow, okay. These cards are just falling out for you. It's something about the cat wanting to sit on your cards, and then they're just jumping out. Okay, let's start with um, the, like, the goddess or ascended master for you tonight. Um, Green Terra, supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitations and trust. Oh my gosh. I definitely feel like you needed to hear that, Cancer. Because you're still wanting to make decisions based on what those other people need or want or feel or whatever. It's time to cut those cords. It's time to move beyond that. Okay. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Now this is really important, Cancer. Because it's important for people to know what you need. It's important for people to know and see that you, you, you have an opinion. This is just, oh yeah. Okay, grouse. Spiritual spiral. Oh. Uh, okay, grouse shows you your own personal power, vision, and enlightenment. Like a whirlpool, it takes you to your center, to the inner and intimate life. It then harmonizes with earth cycles, dance in life, then radiate back out to those you touch. Wow. Oh, yeah. So do you and then give back. <laughs> All right, let's see what the moose has to say. 
strong self-esteem. It's not often that I have two of animals. The two of the other cards jump out frequently, but Moose is an animal of contradictions. It seems it it is seemingly awkward but tremendously graceful. It understands the magic of life and death and is grounded on land as well as in water. The place of an intuition. Oh, yeah. The place of your intuition cuz you're a water sign. Learn to go back to the depth of life to become stronger in life. Sounds like a new beginning to me. Learn to go back to the depth of life to become stronger in life. Well, I think this is wonderful. I'm serious. I really do, Cancer, because I feel like you're growing into these choices and changes that you're, you're making. I think this is really great, but it's not without... It's not without hiccups. I mean, come on, let's face it. it. It's life. It never is. But I think that you're really doing good. I just think that you need to watch yourself when you start making decisions for your life based on other people's decisions for their life. That's not going to cut it. You've got to do what's right for you and then give back to the others can't give from an empty cup cancer that's all I'm saying I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately hmm. Hmm. thank you so much for joining me cancer I appreciate it um, and so does Patches Mouse and Jasmine yeah we all appreciate it but thank you so much for joining me um, don't forget to check out your monthly numerology reading also on this channel and um and my other channel metaphysical roundtable where you can find live shows and some other fun stuff astrology card reviews real fun stuff like that um and until i see you again get out there and make your magic bye